There's one more I want to go over, and that'll be it for today. So that concludes the CD Traxio test. So this last example is example seven here. In this example, I included here because this is an example where you have both C prime and phi prime. So you have to determine the shear strength parameters, this case, C prime and phi prime. So this is actually an over consolidated clay specimen. So that's why you have two specimens prepared and you have these two sets of results. So for specimen one, this is uh, confining stress. So sigma three, let's call this one. Again, during the Traxel test, total and effective stress are the same. So sigma three prime and sigma three uh, are the same. The same here. I'm using this subscript here, one or two, to indicate this is associated with specimen one or two. So that's your confining stress. And then divitor stress and failure is also given for both specimens. And then we're going to calculate these two strength parameters. As I mentioned, this is uh, basically a case with over-consolidated clay. And if you plot these two more circles at failure, you realize there is a non-zero intercept with the shear stress axis. That's why you have two strength parameters to estimate. So for specimen one, so sigma three, one prime is uh, same as sigma three, so that's 70. And then sigma one at failure is sigma three plus divitor stress, sigma three prime plus delta sigma d at failure for specimen one. And this divitor stress at failure for specimen one is given. So that's 70 plus 130, 200 kPa or kilonewton per meter squared. So that is specimen one. And then for two, for specimen two, again, you're given sigma three at failure, so that's 160. And sigma one at failure for specimen two is three plus divitor stress. 160 plus divitor stress at failure for specimen two given 223.5. So that's 383.5 kilonewton per meter square. So you have these two sets of principal stresses one, sigma one and sigma three prime. And then to calculate these two strength parameters, we're going to use equation 12.25. So that's the equation we just reviewed. So from equation, let me show you the two equations. Okay. So we're going to use equation 12.25 and 12.26. Again, something we covered actually in previous lectures. So these are the two equations for friction angle and the drain to cohesion. So we're going to use these two equations and substitute sigma one prime, sigma three prime for these two soil specimens. Okay, so that's what we're going to use. And from equation 12.25, the sigma prime, sigma one prime actually, is two times tangent inverse sigma one minus sigma one prime soil specimen two over sigma three minus sigma three square root of that. So to the power negative, uh, to the power 0. 0.5 minus 45 degrees. And then plug in these numbers, sigma one, sigma three prime into this equation, this angle is 20 degrees. So one thing I want to point out when you're plugging in and using this equation 12.25, when you calculate this quantity here, so you want to calculate this term within this bracket first. So that's a place I see many students uh, make a mistake, is you want to calculate this bracket term first, because that, that will give you basically this ratio then 
square root of that ratio, and then you calculate the tangent inverse. So you calculate the tangent inverse of that square root. Okay. Just uh, don't mix the sequence, otherwise uh, we will not get the correct answer. So that's equation 12.25. And then the next one is for the C prime, that's equation 12.26. And that C prime equation is sigma one, one minus sigma three, one tangent square 45 plus phi one over two, phi one prime over two divided by two times tangent of 45 phi prime over two or phi one prime over two. So you just use the phi one prime value you calculated that's 20 degrees substitute into 12.26 can solve for C prime and this is 20 kilonewton per meter square. For the next lecture, I'm going to talk about the, the other types of tracks you test, including the consolidated androgen and unconsolidated androgen tracks you test.